Okay, here's a tutorial under Windows 10 on how to format a hard drive into another file system. So this hard drive, if I go to, if I right click on it and go to properties, properties, and then here at file system, we can see that NTFS is, okay, and if I right click that hard drive and go to format, then here at file system I have only NTFS option so let's see how to format it in XFAT format close this window go to the start button type in CMD CMD from the command prompt right click this command prompt and run it as administrator Okay, on the command prompt window, let's type in format slash and question mark and press enter. Okay, so we have to use this command slash fs and column and then the file system that we want. In this case, it's xfat. And we need to use the slash q option also for a quick format because otherwise we will take too much time and we need to specify the drive that we want to format also okay so typing format the drive letter that you want to format in this case is h so format h column okay then slash fs that is file system column and xfat okay and slash and q from quick format okay press enter the type of file system is ntfs that's the current file system and the new file system will be xfat enter current volume label for drive H okay so if you have some data on that hard drive mine is currently totally empty then back up all that data first this is a protection here just in case you format accidentally another hard drive so you have to enter this name in this case is SSD enter current current volume label Okay, type in SSD and press enter. This is case sensitive, so I just typed in capital letters. Press enter. All data on non removable disk will be lost. This hard drive will be totally erased. Proceed with format. If you want to format it, type a Y, letter Y from yes, and press enter. Okay, it's asking for the new volume label. I want to use something else, let's say SSD and 120 gigabytes and let's say K from Kingston. Okay, press enter. That's the volume label that will be used. Okay, the format was completed and that's it. So if I open another file explorer window, here is the new label of the hard drive. And if I right click on it and go to properties, then file system, now it's XFAT. But if you right click on it and go to format, then only NTFS is available. So you won't get the XFAT option but it's already formatted into XFAT using the command prompt. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.